All right, now we're going to take you through some spoiling. We've got two types of spoilers I want to take you through here. The first one is when you're directly behind the guy in the lead. Now the thing you should be really concentrating on here is to never take your eye off the ball. It's so, so important. And the second thing is to make sure when you do actually go for the spoil, you follow through. So we're going to get Ken to hold the ball up. We're going to get Ash to follow through with the spoil. Okay, now we're going to take you through the second spoil, which we're going to do side on. Now it's even more crucial in this spoiling action to make sure you keep your eye on the ball the whole time. This one's all about timing. Too many times you'll see the guys try to come in and get body contact. In a spoil like this, there's no need for that. I'm going, to, I'm going to get the ball thrown up here and it's all about timing. I've got to time when to get to the ball so that I can get up over my opponent and punch it away. Now spoiling is a very important part of the game, especially for a backman. We're always taught if we can't mark the ball, make sure your opponent can't mark the ball.